What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're using a team that features weakness policy Metagross and decorate out Creme. Now, ever since Metagross has been released into this game, it has been taken over the rank regulation F meta because it's so strong. And on top of that, it got a little bit of a buff. It now learns Psychic Fangs, which we will be using today to break screens and kind of deal with any team that wants to set up screens or even a roar bell like a low nine deal. So love Metagross, super great Pokemon all around. It's got clear body and it also has the weakness policy as item, like we already mentioned, to actually pair up with Bronzon. Now Bronzon, you can lead them both, you can get them both out on the, at the same time. Bronzon can pop Bulldoze. Bulldoze will actually hit every Pokemon on the field and lower speed of every Pokemon, besides Metagross due to its clear body ability. On top of that, when you use Bulldoze on the Metagross, it will pop the weakness policy, allowing this thing to go plus two on attack, making it do an insane amount of damage. The other three moves consist of Protect, Meteor Mash, and Stomping Angel. Like I already mentioned, we got Psychic Fangs, such a strong stab hitting move. Decorate Alcreme is the second Pokemon I want to showcase today. Alcreme is super good, especially with that Decorate move. It's one of, a, one of the best support moves, giving you a plus two attack boost and plus two special attack boost. So, amazing move. And on top of that, it bypasses Protect. So say we wanted to pair up Alcreme with Enamorous, I can Protect Enamorous, use Decorate onto that, block any incoming shots and at the same time decorate will still work on enamorous giving it that plus two in that special attack stat but once we get going with that enamorous can do crazy damage with earth power springtide storm and sludge bomb alongside with the life orb we love it final two pokemon on today's team is going to be porygon 2 and Milotic. porygon 2 just like the bronze song is a great trick room setter and Milotic is going to be a great pokemon to deal with any intimidate pokemon considering it, it has the competitive ability Guys, you want to rent this even for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a contrary superior team. So superior going to pair up with that tornado really, really well, and it's gonna be a pain in the neck to actually deal with. So we definitely have to pop trick room. Our team thrives with trick room, but who should we lead here? Who should it be our lead? We could go bronze on, we could go in with Metagross. Maybe just protect, pop trick room from there. We get the mental herb to deal with any taunts, all that good stuff. So I think it's going to be our lead. I do like that. So I'm going to go in with both of them. They could lead like Incineroar or something, which would be a little bit of a problem, but I'm just going to bank on them not. And then I'm going to go Alcreme and Enamorous as back end. Or I could go Enamorous without Al Alcreme. I could be good. I could just go like Milotic. Milotic's not bad with Ice Beam, right? You got Ice Beam, don't you? You do ice beam will be super effective onto the superior the thunderous the latias and then you have skull to deal with the incineroar actually let's not go <laughs> out crema here we're gonna bring a nice little special attacker in the back end love myotech dude i love myotech myotech just really thrives a pokemon that i'm a little worried about is gonna be sweet coon it's just really bulky but i just don't think they bring it right especially up against trick room team sweet coon's kind of there set tailwinds kind of out bulk some pokemon so it just it just seems like they're not going to bring it but we'll see who they end up leading we're kind of hoping not incineroar i mean i have clear body to deal with the intimidate but still i just don't i just don't want to deal with a fake out answer, right hopefully they maybe go like superior let's see superior and incineroar okay so they can fake me out they can set up the leaf storms they can do everything that they want and what do i do from here what's what's my play i definitely want to try to pop a trick but do I want to protect the Metagross is a real question. That That is that is a real question. Do I want to protect the Metagross? Um, Superior is probably just going for like a Leaf Storm. Right? Most likely a Leaf Storm. So I, I could protect, but I just don't want him faking out and doubling down. So at this point, I am just going to level this this uh, Superior with a, a Meteor Mash. That's going to be my play. So we're gonna see a Terra here turn one. Hopefully it's into the uh, Incineroar slot. But I think it's Superior, right? Superior's gonna get this. Go Fairy. Fire. Why are you going fire? Like, why are you going fire? Why are you going fire? Throws me off, man. Terrible. You're ripping me with a Terrible S here. And you're just gonna double down on my Bronzong? Bronzong, can you just soak up these shots? Be a dog. Knock off coming out here. You die, man, to a knockoff. That really hurts. Because now I'm sitting here with a team that really needs Trick Room. And we don't have Trick Room. Meteor Mash coming higher. Doing negative five. Dang, man. I should have Terrasalized Bronzy. 
I should have Tabasa slash Bronze. And, yeah, uh, who got Milo? We got Milo here. Milo could definitely clutch up. I like Milo here. Um, I don't think this match is over. We definitely like really thrive off a of Trick Room. But I think we can still win this one without Trick Room. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. They're going to double down in my Metagross here. I can't Terrasize into Steel. That's just a bad Terra. So I'm just going to stay here with Milo. Start throwing Scalds around. Maybe getting some burns. I don't know. Let Milotic do his thing. But hopefully they just like lower my stats or something. I get a competitive boost. And Milotic can clutch up here in match number one. We'll see how this one plays. We'll see. We shall see. So they're thinking of what to do. They're probably just going to maybe go for like a parting shot. I don't know. I mean, parting shot would be a bad play. They got clear body. I got other things. But they're just going to protect Serapiri. Which is totally fine because he's probably going for a flare once with the Metagross, right? And they go for a parting shot. And that's, that's just stupid. That's just stupid. Thank you very much. Drop my attack. Boost my special attack plus. Actually, oh, we get the double competitive boost. So we're actually plus three on special attack. That is, that's huge. That's huge. That's huge. We're sitting here plus three on special attack. Milotic giving us a shot here. Bad move to go parting shot in the Milo. Real bad move. Rookie mistake. Roboom now comes out here, sets the terrain. Roboom, you're a little bit of an issue, but I'm going to terrestrialize my Milotic this next turn, and I'm just going to send an Ice Beam your way. Uh, how do you feel about that? Could fake me out too. Maybe I might just double protect you. Read out what they're going to do first. Might be might be a better play for me. Might be a better play for me. To just double protect. Read out what they're, what they're going to do. Superior gets some HP back. Huh. My Alotic can win us this match, no problem. I got a beautiful terror type of Dragon. A little bit of Dragon. But I do believe the double protect is probably your play. Just to read out what they're doing, right? I could stay in here and maybe just go for a stopping tantrum into you. And I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Because if you're going to fake out anybody, it's going to be this plus three Milotic. And I can just terrestrialize it next turn. So, yeah, I'm just going to do a nice little protect. There's the fake out into the Milo slot. We say, yo, that's not happening. And chances are they're probably doubling down with like a Leaf Storm action, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, big time protect. So we lose our trick room user, but we're fighting. Here. We're fighting here. Stop the cancer coming in hot. Bop, big time damage. We love that damage. We love that damage. So now they can go for grassy guides. They can do a lot here. But I think our play is just going to be terrestrialize Milo, ice beam down that roll room. It will probably KO. And then stop and catch from this superior. That's something I like. So a nice little terror type. Ice beam coming in hot. And stick with the stop and catch him. Getting after it. So competitive Milo. Chilling here. We are as slow as a team can get, right? We are going to go last every single turn. But my Pokemon hit hard. And I'm going to be playing really well. So hopefully we can make this comeback here. It was a big mistake not for me not to pop Terra type onto Bronzong. But I thought they would target that Metagross more so than anything. But it's all good. They're going to end up going for a Terra Blast here. Going after Metagross here. Metagross should be able to soak that all day. We love that. And you're going to pop weak this policy. Making Meta Gross real strong. Real strong. Now I got some boosted Pokemon on the field. You're going to go for a Wood Hammer? Or are you going to go? You're going to double down into my Meta Gross. Wow. The double down into the Meta Gross. Really? That's super surprising. That's more than surprising. The double down in the Meta Gross. So a plus three Ice Beam coming in hot here. Not KO on the Roll Boom. But giving me the freeze, baby. <laughs> the freeze. Look at Roboom just stuck in ice, man. The Shapir gets a little bit of HP back. Um, I like my Enamorous here. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. So I'm going to go Enamorous here. And I am just going to pop... Do I pop a Springtide Storm here? Just to finish off the Roboom. And then maybe double down into Superior. Could be my play. Definitely want to Scald that slot. Could go Scald Sludge Bomb. Because I know they're both going to KO. Yeah, and Springtide Storm's accuracy is a little low, so we might as well just do that. The Leaf Storm's going to fly through here. Enamorous is going to be able to soak pretty well here. Not very effective. This thing is going to get boosted, but we're going to wait bye-bye to Superior. That's going. And Roboom Frozen Solid, so cool. We get a little bit of value out of our fruits. A little bit of value. So Scald says night-night to Superior. See you later. <clears throat> and they're going to be forced to intimidate my Milotic again. He's going to be plus five on special attack. It's going to be absurd. Sludge Bomb's going to fly through. It's going to pick up the KO. Okay. So from here, it's 2v2. 
Milotic's gonna be able to KO whoever it wants. We don't have to worry about Terror type either, right? Yeah, we don't have to worry about Terror type. They already used it. They already used it on Superior. So, Latias comes out here, and I, I love that. Oh, I don't know if I love that. the dragon moves. And Sinnoh will come out here. I'm actually thinking to just protect the Milo here. Actually, I might just double protect. They might read that. Or I could just straight up attack. Man, I wish we didn't change our typing at this point. But Real Boom, like, didn't even attack us. I mean, we froze it. But, uh, da -da -da -da. what's our play here? Let's just double protect. Let's just read out what he's doing here. Double protect coming out here. Double protect. This one's coming down to it. Because if this thing's rocking Draco Meteor, which it could be. This thing's rocking Draco Meteor. It has a chance of knocking out my Milo in one shot. Big time chance. So I so I land a double protect. Well, not land it. I mean, I use double protect. And fake out's gonna come into the Milotic slot. Yeah, I was thinking of just attacking and going Springtide Storms here. Which probably should have been my play. You got a psych up here. Oh no, that bypasses? You copy my stat. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my lord, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. You got psych up? That's a little absurd, but let's go for Springtide Storm here. Let's go for Springtide Storm. Let's go for Scald. He's gonna he's just gonna KO my 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 Milo, right? If you don't KO my Milo, you're in you're in trouble. Miss Ball gonna come through here. Can we soak that? You don't have a dragon move? We free focus ashed up. We free focus ashed up. Get the cameras out. This doesn't happen to me often. Hopefully you don't double down to Milo and finish me off. You don't. You don't double down to Milo. We lose our life orb, but we free focus Sash up. I feel terrible for our opponent. I feel terrible. We get a crit to it. It didn't even matter. You were dead to that. I don't want to hear about it. My RNG right now. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Springtide Storm's missing? We might have just lost a match on that. Because one Springtide Storm might not be enough. And I got a plan here. No, 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 no! I wanted to protect the Milo! I wanted to protect the Milo! I just, I just sold that. I just sold that so bad. I just sold so bad. What a misclick at the end. Oh my lord, we, oh my lord. I wanted to protect the Milo. I thought I hit B again and then went back to the Milo. Wow, that hurts. That hurts. We're gonna lose this one now. Wow, misclick for the loss. Doesn't happen too often. We should be 1-0 here. Hopping into our second match, and it sucks that we lost the last match on a misclick. I knew that Latias was going after my Milotic. I just wanted to protect it and try to get another chance at landing Springtide Storm, but hey, that wasn't the case. Real rough. Definitely real rough. But we're hopping into our final match, or not our final match, our second match. And we're going up against Screen Grimstrahl. So that screams Metagross, you gotta come out here. So maybe we might lead Metagross and Bronzong yet again. Try to pop Trick Room and really get after it, but they have two Pokemon. Kind of counter our Trick Room situation, right? They had two Pokemon that really do it, and that would be Grimstrahl, or not Grimstrahl, uh, Sinistra and Cresselia. They also have Don Dozo, they have Rillaboom, two very strong Pokemon. But I'm still going to just try to pull off this Trick Room and get after it that way. I'll bring Enamorous in the back end, and then do I go Milo again? I don't mind Milo, but Alcrema is kind of screaming my name. It's kind of screaming my name, so I'm going to do that. We are going to go Alcrema. So they have Don Dozo without Tatsukuri. Still a solid Pokemon. But I feel like if I can just start boosting my stats, we can really get after it. Like unaware. Oh, unaware. Mm -mm. We don't like Unaware. We don't like that. But I'm looking just to break screens, kind of turn one, right? If they want to go in the Grimstarl, I'm kind of hoping they do. I would just Psychic Fangs Pokemon, and I would set up Trick Room, and then potentially Bulldoze next turn, just start throwing Meteor Mashes left and right. So, we'll see. We shall see what they do. But yeah, that last match, oh my lord. Should be starting off 1-0, but now we're 0-1. Hurts the soul. Grimstarl do come out here alongside with Cresselia. Alongside with Crest Crest. So I, I don't mind it. I don't mind Crest Crest coming out here. Um, Crest could pop a trick room. That is, that is a... That is an option for Crest to do. Crest could just straight up pop a trick room. Um, I'm still going to pop a trick room of my own. And 
Do I just Meteor Mash here? Just look to get off damage on the Grimmsnarl. Could have Fake Out too. But I think we just save our, our screen break right here, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna Meteor Mash this slot. Let's see what he does. He might just end up with John Grimmsnarl. Seen Screen Breaker on the field? No, he just still sets up a Reflect. So Meteor Mash can still do some good dan good time damage. And this thing's just gonna set up a Calm Mind. So Calm Mind looking rather annoying. But it's good to know they outspeed us. So from here, Meteor Mash is gonna fly. And Grimmsnarl dodges it. What a great play for us. Love it. I love this game. I love this game. So I can bulldoze here. I could pop weakness policy. Um, I think it's definitely gonna be my play. And do I break screens now? No, I think we have to get rid of. I think we have to get rid of Grimstarl first and foremost, right? Yeah, first and foremost, he has got to go. So Combine's getting boosted. Uh, moves that Cresselia could have: Moonblast, a Spin. It really it's options. But I have to. I have to get rid of screens, man. Screens are just a problem. So we just got a parting shot into this slot. Smart little play. And who are they going to go into? Who are they going to cook into? Because I'm medium mashing the slot. I'm so upset we missed that first one. But I can break screens next turn, which is going to be great. I can break screens next turn. Let's see who they cook up here. Who you got coming in? Who is soaking this plus two medium mash? Who is soaking this medium mash? It's just going to be... Moltres. Okay, so Moltres isn't a bad call. I mean, I still have my turret, which is good. Older is going to fly through here. Doesn't affect any of them. So we're just popping a weak response. Damage is absurd. Look at that damage. Insane. <laughs> but uh, there's the weakness policy boost. We love it. And we can hit up on this Moltres here. And do great damage. Lovely damage. It's big time damage there. Of course, you got the berry. So, and we can't break screens up against that. Oh my lord, it hurts so bad. It hurts. It hurts. So there's another calm mind boost. Am I really worried about that? Maybe a little bit. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how to feel about letting this thing calm mind boost. But we have to get like these guys are boosted now. Um. From here, I think I just iron start iron defensing you. I think I just get rid of the Moltres, correct? I would love to go for Psychic Fangs, but I can't. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try to get rid of this Moltres. And go for an iron defense boost. That's the play. So we still have Alcreme and Enamorous in the back end. Hopefully they don't protect the Moltres and we just get rid of it. And I still haven't broke screens, but I'm hitting hard enough where I don't have to just break the screens just yet. So we'll see. Plus they have perfect Pokemon that like I'm gonna I'm just wasting a move going not very effective right now. When I can pick up a KO. So we fine. We fine. So we'll see what they want to do here. They could protect the Moltres. They could go for another Combine boost, which would be scary. And they don't protect the Moltres, which is huge. So I Iron Defense up. Just get that nice, lovely defense boost on the Bronze Eye. Medium Mash going to fly through here. I'm going to wait bye bye to Moltres. So we get rid of Moltres. And I get a free attack boost. It's huge. That's huge. So now I should start attacking that Crest, right? Crest is plus two on attack. Or do I break screens first? But Moonblast is going to fly here. I'm soaking. That's easy soaks. That's light work soaks. That's light work soak. So we soaked that up all day. Um, let's see who they bring out here. I doubt they bring out Grimstone. They're probably going to bring out their final Pokemon. And if they bring out their final Pokemon, I think I'm just going to Psychic Fangs break screens onto it. It's going to be Sinistra. Okay. Sinistra comes out here. So Sinistra out and about. Um, might as well just Iron Defense up again. And I'm going to break screens. No more screens for you. Not one singular screen for you. So I'm going to break screens and then next turn, next turn, I'm going to attack that Cresselia without the screens, right? But I'm plus three. I might just KO the Sinistra and then he could just go back into Grimstone and set up another Reflect. Options, options, options. But they're going to Terrasilize here. Put a nice lovely Terror attack. Hopefully it's onto the Cress. No, it's onto the Cup of Tea. The Cup of Matcha into the Water Terror. Not bad. I mean, I don't, I don't mind the Water Terror. I don't mind it. Not one bit. And Iron Defense is going to get set up again. Just so we can just deal more damage with our body presses, right? <laughs> going plus four. Psychic Fang is going to fly here. We say bye-bye to Screens and bye-bye to Sinisha. And bye-bye to Terra. So what I just said actually ended up happening. We just KO'd the Sinisha. And breaking the Screens really don't matter, right? Because <laughs> they're just going to go to Grimstarl and set it up again. 
But out comes an Ice Beam. Metagross soak that. Oh my god, no Freezies. No Freezies, we love it. So Metagross is just thriving in this one. Definitely want to use out Kremay and Enamorous in the next one. But I'll have to set up Trick Room first to kind of get after it. Alright, let's see what they do. They go into Grimmy Grim. So Grim Grim comes out here. Um, and... Might as well just start body pressing into it. I'll body press this slot, and I'll just go Meteor Mash into the slot. Looking to do as much damage as we can to the Crest, and they end up just canceling the match. So, nice little sweep in match number two to make up for a misclick in match number one. Final match on its way. We are sitting one and one, and I would love to use Decorate Alcremate in here in match number three. We should be two and up. Still upset at that misclick, but hey. We're going up against Pelipper, alongside with Sinistra, and then they're rocking out with Archelunon in the ring. Archelunon, big time threat in the ring. We have no way of weather control, but Trick Room, gonna be our little buddy. Gonna be a little buddy. So who should we lead here? P2? With the Evo Light? I do like that. Nice little normal typing. Pretty solid for us. They could go straight in the rain squad, which is going to be a little bit of a bear for us. It's going to be annoying. But I could go into Enamorous here, or I can lead somebody else. You know, I'm going to go Enamorous. I'm going to go Enamorous here. Try to pop the Trick Room and kind of get after it that way. So I'm going to go both of them. I'm going to go Metagross, and I'm going to go Alcremate in the back end. This one's going to be tough for us. I really feel like it's going to be tough for us. Because of our terror types, right? Enamorous has Fairy Terror Type. And if we're going up against Arch Ludon, what's that really going to do? Nothing. It's going to do absolutely nothing. It might actually help us out dodging Electro Shots, but... Nothing for the Flash Cannons, right? Nothing for the Flash Cannons. So they're going to end up leading Rillaboom and Zapdos, which I don't mind. They can fake me out. I am going to Terrasilize my P2 into Ghost. And I'm just going to stick with attacking here. Yeah, definitely got Terra into Ghost here, because they got Fighting Types on the field. They got it all. They got it all. So they're going to Grand CC, actually. Grand CC'd up. A little bit of booster. Boosting up. I'm going to trace it. I'm actually just going to take Grassy Surge. Cool. My ability does nothing. But yeah, definitely got to size. We're going to pop Trick Room. And I think from here, we just pop a Springtide Storm. Or I can pop a Sludge Bomb. I like Springtide Storm. I'm going to pop a Springtide Storm. So I actually like our typing here with the Enamorous. So I'm thinking if I can pop Trick Room here, I can then protect the Enamorous next turn. Bring out Alcreme. Start doing a little bit of decoration. That could be good. Could be good. Or I could just save it for the back end. For the back end. Here. But they're going to end up terrestrializing the bird right off the rip. Straight into steel. That's looking a little scary. You got a steel move on, on your hands? You might. You might. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. That could definitely be a problem. But we're going to terrestrialize P2. We want to guarantee getting off Trick Room. Because Trick Room's just such a big factor for us. No ghost terror type out and about. No fake outs allowed. No fighting moves allowed. We're just not dealing with it, right? It's just not happening. So Zapdos is actually going to coach up. We don't like that. You get a defense boost from that. I'm going to have to sludge bomb you next turn. And knock off. Something. You got knock off really reading my ghost Terra, or you were just knocking off anyway. That's fine. I get off a Springtide Storm, and who's missing this? Of course, Rillaboom dodges that. It's ridiculous. And I get off minimal damage to Zapdos. And I probably lose more HP due to my life. But Trick Room is here. We love Trick Room. So we got Trick Room out and about. The so Trick Room's out and about. Um, we might just let P2 die out here. We might just let P2 die out here. Or I could, again, just protect. Let me see the speed on this thing. Because I actually think Enamorous is faster in Trick Room. Than... Yeah, then Alcreme. So we're just going to save the Alcreme for late game. And... I'm just going to double down this roll and try to just make sure this thing dies out. I could actually go Earth Power. Actually, yeah, let's do this. Let's go Earth Power in this slot. So he ends up detecting. Man, I should have just Sludge Bomb. I should have just Sludge Bomb, man. Should have just did it. Should have just did it. But Earth Power is going to get blocked here. P2 is going to be able to drop a nice little Ice Beam. How much damage is this going to do here? Not bad. Nice little P2 damage. Love it. Wood Hammer is going to finish this off and... I'm surprised he didn't use knockoff instead, because knockoff would have KO'd us, but now he takes a nice recoil. Now. So P2 drops out. Um I think we might decorate up our our enamorous here. Yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna do, do that. Definitely doing that. So enamorous, we're gonna try to put plus two. Get out coming out. We, we still have like three turns left in Trick Room. So I understand that what's called is gonna go first. That uh I could actually protect this turn. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect because this, this bypasses protects. So I can actually protect this turn and kind of 
Just get after it that way. And up with John Robin. Yo, the bird better go after my Enamorous. They go Ting Lu here. Come on, Mr. Bird. Go after Enamorous. Mr. Bird with the giant axe on set. Go after Enamorous here, because I'm protecting. I'm protecting. Go ahead, Bird. But I'm still able to decorate through protect. It's so big. It's so massive. It's so solid. Can the bird go after the Enamorous? It does. It does. So that's that's huge. So now we're sitting here plus two on both stats. Um, we could detect the bird again, most likely. Probably gonna happen, so maybe I just wanna attack the uh the Ting Lu. And you know what? I'm just gonna decorate again. I'm just gonna decorate and I'm just gonna spring tide storm. I think they do end up detecting the Zapdos. And if Springtide Storm can land, that'd be plus two solid. But it, they end up just not protecting that Pokemon, and we dump on Ting Lu. Get it on out here. So we get rid of Ting Lu. We're now going to go put this, this Enamorous up to plus four. We're now going to put this Enamorous up to plus four. Which is not a bad turn. But the problem is, Trick Room ends next turn. They can just simply detect or come in here and fake me out. A lot of different options here. A lot of different options. Acrobat's gonna fly, and that does some nice damage. So if I were them, I'd just simply detect this turn. Most likely, that's what's gonna happen. Oh man, the Steel Terror is just so good. It's just so good. I could go for an Earth Power and that thing, but I, again, I think you detect. Or you can just fake me out with Roll Boom. We'll see. Hopefully, they just don't go in the Roll Boom. And we get off one more turn with the Enamorous, because that could be massive. It could be huge. It can be huge, but I'm actually more happy that this uh, this bird doesn't have a steel move. They end up going back in Roll Boom, smart play by them. And from here, I mean, we just had to throw a dash and gleam here. And if I can't get off of Earth Power, I'm gonna try. I could have just protected this thing if I wanted to, but I just don't think that's a play. I was hoping maybe they they would. They would just stop that, but we go. Dazzling Gleam comes out here. It does a little bit of damage. Another Dazzling Gleam should KO Roll Boom. Never mind. Of course, it's got what is that? The Figgy? Are you Figgy? A Guav. The Guav Berry's got. And Acrobat's gonna fly through here. Even my boy on the field. But leave both these Pokemon on the field. This is just not looking good for us. This is just simply not looking good because they outspeed us at this point. They outspeed us. And I wish I had Trick Room on Al Creme, but yeah, this is just. Not look good. We're getting pumped here in match number three. We're getting smacked up on in match number three. There's there's nothing I can really do here. Except for try to go for Earth Power. Maybe they miss an attack. Probably not, right? They're using acrobatics and stuff like that. Yeah, we died. So I'm dead there. I had my Namorous boosted, which is tough news. We were able to take out the Tink Lu, but yeah, from here it's just it's just not looking good. Woodhammer's gonna fly through and finish this off. Bye bye. So Kreme going. Everybody's gone except for Metagross. We can just say it that way. And yeah, we're definitely going to go with one and two for today's video, which sucks because I wish I would have won that first match now. We go two and one. But I still like using Metagross with, with this policy. It was really strong. Alcrema is great too. So I bring out Metagross. We're still going to try to win this match. Um, he has knockoff, which is a problem. So maybe do I try taking him out first? I mean, no, it's over because they have, they have two moves that can really do damage on I me. Mean, knockoff and um, close combat. Right? You have a fighting move. Sinish just can come out here. Don't you dare tell me you're detecting. Don't you dare tell me you're detecting. You're just getting some HP back, which is smart. But yeah, I'm going for Meteor Mash anyway. <laughs> so, Thunder's Kick's just gonna come in here and KO me regardless. Actually, no, it doesn't. Cool. I meant to say Stompy Tantrum, but Stompy Tantrum flies through here. Yeah, it's just not doing enough damage. It's just simply not doing enough damage. Um, huh. Anything I can do here? They're probably going for a Rage Powder, so I have to go for a Meteor Mash now. It's tough. It's brutal out here, match number three. I should have just ran this one a little bit ago. They got this one locked up. I'll take a 1-2 record. I'll take a 1-2 losing record, considering, again, we should have won that first match. But they end up just Shadow Balling me, so Sinish is just going to pick up the KO. Don't really get to see too many Shadow Ball Sinishes. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the end of the third match. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, one and two for today's video. Definitely could have played better. That's on my part, but still had fun rocking out with this team. Metagross, amazing with the weakness policy. We had competitive Biotic showcase in match number one, and then we had Decorate Alcreme in match number three, not really showcasing it too well, but still using it on the rank regulation app.
But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.